Okay, so in this uh, chapter, we will learn how to uh, build Android web app. So first of all, why we want to build a web app? The first idea is to say, okay, I have some website and I want to, to build a, a POC, a proof of concept uh, for an application. Um, and I don't want to, to spend a lot of time uh, to, to build an application. I just want to have an overview of what can be done from my website. So this is the first case where you want to use uh, a web view. The second case where you want to use a web view is, for instance, when you want to uh, display third party contents. Okay? You do something, then you want to switch to uh, or display something uh, grabbed from the internet. A web view can be useful. Uh, when you want to display some information, it may be simplest to, to display something in text with CSS rather than building some, uh, some complex component in Android. So for all these reasons, you, you may want to use a web view. So let's suppose that you have a website. We could say, OK, I will use some Explorer and display my application inside of the Explorer. Doing that will not lead to a great, great user uh, experience. Why? Because there is on the top some elements to uh, enter your, your URL and so on. So if you use a web view, you can plug it with the different component of Android in order to have a great user experience. So this is how we can use uh, web views. So, first of all, a web views require the access to the internet. So we have to declare it inside of the Android file.xml. So here I just ask for the permission to use internet. Then I can display some web page. So for instance, if I want to display Google, I just have to instantiate a new web client, web view client, and then I ask for loading the URL www.google.com. Okay, so now we can offer to the user the ability to surf on the web. But you can also ask for loading static data. Here I define a string and in this string I just display due scored some points. Okay, and then I can ask for my web view to display this HTML page. So for instance, if you have a game to develop and you want just to display the score you, you achieved, you can do that. With some CSS, it can be uh, user-friendly. Okay? Uh, you can also uh, load a file uh, and display it. So to do that, you just have to say to your web view, load URL, file, and the absolute pass for your file, which contains the, XML you want to the HTML you want to display. Or you can directly delete it through file Android asset file name.html. So this is quite simple for now, but when we have web views, uh, we may want to, to use JavaScript. And the question is, can a JavaScript action help to make some toast appear, for instance? In other words, can we have a connection between JavaScript and Android API? So this is possible. Uh, to do that, you just have to uh, enable JavaScript. And then you have to define your own interface. This interface. Uh, will be, for instance, show toast, and we can note that we, there is some annotation over uh, this method saying JavaScript interface. So it means that this method can be used from the HTML. 
So in your HTML, you can then use the method show toast, and this show toast will call Android API in order to make a toast appears. Okay. So now to your web view, you have to register the new interface, and this interface will be then be available, and you have to give a name to this interface. Here I, su I suggest Android. And so in your HTML, you can then have some button, and this button, when you click it, what's happening? Some JavaScript code is triggered, and this JavaScript code will only call android.showtoast the toast, and then a click on an HTML page will trigger a toast from the API, uh, from the Android API. Okay? So now that we, you have a web view, uh, you have to consider that your user may escape. It means that since you are on a web view, he can click, 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 and then it's on YouTube. And you don't want your user to be on YouTube because you don't want to offer him this ability. So you want to restrict uh, your application to a subset of URLs that are uh, available. So to do that, you just have to define your own web client, web view client, and refine the should override URL loading. And if the URL is inside of your domain, it's okay. Otherwise, you say no. Or you provide uh, the, to the user the ability to go to an explorer and so on. Okay? Then, once you have defined your own uh, WebView client, you just have to set up uh, your WebView with this new client. And you can also manage the history of your WebView uh, using can go back, go back, can go forward, go forward, and so on. Uh, you can also uh, detect uh, key down uh, for implementing back and do something. When I implement back, I can, I can go back or I can exit the, the application. So to sum up, uh, building, web, uh, to building web view uh, is easy. Uh, it helps you to uh, have proof of concept for your applications. Then you can integrate it with uh, Android uh, API. And it's compatible with CSS. So it can be a good option if you want to do something quick. So finally, uh, when you want to debug such application, uh, Android Studio offers you a lot of uh, tools to do that. Uh, you can use a web Chrome client that helps you to uh, debug your application. And you can define your own API and uh, write things on the log message console.